Hello, my name is Modred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this series of Crusader Kings 3. This is the first episode in the Gululand series. I haven't actually come up with a name for this one yet. We shall see how that evolves uh, at the time. This is effectively a continuation of the Lost Vikings in Africa, however, because we have Igbo Benue down here, which are the um, other faction of the Viking dynasty. We made it along the Niger River. We are now at the very, very source of the river. Actually, it's not the source, I guess. Where would that be? Niani? Nope, it keeps on going down here. The source would seem to be Konyan, but um, we're where it stops being navigable. There you go. That, that's a better word. And we have now established ourselves over here. We are very wealthy, very unbuilt up, with kind of small armies for the region now. We did take a big old chunk out of Ghana, but Ghana is probably going to come gunning for us because we have a lot of their heartland territories. So if you are new to this series, the reason I'm doing this is because YouTube at the moment really, 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 really dislikes long series. So the way I decided to basically cheat doing long series is by breaking it up into shorter series. Um, so for Twitch, no difference to you, except slightly different titles. YouTube, it's going to be different playlists because that's just what YouTube likes. Uh, but it is the same setting, it is the same world. I have not changed anything uh, between this. So we are simply playing as Gululand now. We've even got the same ruler. This is King Helfric Wittison. And we've got our heir, who is Chieftain Kalinicus, who is his son. Did our election... Law change? It did. We are back to regular succession. Yeah, we no longer have elective. Can I go back to elective? Mm, yes, yes I can. Um, that is what chat voted for before, and I do think it is a good idea. So let's switch to elective. Oh, you know what? There's no sound. Boop. Now there is. The question of who shall succeed me after my death has plagued me ceaselessly of late. The threat of splitting the realm is ever on my mind. The ancient ways of my people were the best. So we are going to go to a Scandinavian elective, because that is what we did actually have in Igbo Benue. But now that we are a different kingdom, uh, the election laws clearly changed. Okay, so, elections. Huzzah! Uh, Follock here, thank you very much for the new subscription. Welcome to the Maudlings, thank you very much for that. No, four month resub. Subscribe for four months, okay, I completely misread that. Thank you very much for the resub. I was like, hang on, I recognize that name. That is definitely not a new resub, or a new sub. So thank you very much for that, very much appreciate it. More fun in Africa, indeed. Played as a different ruler than change ruler in the same playthrough. Nope, same ruler, we just changed kingdom. So we started out as Igbo Benue, did the invasion CB against Ghana, took a chunk of Ghana, and then we are basically now playing as this, and I gave these guys independence, so we are now independent nations. So actually Benin and Igbo Benue are both Norse as well. So if we switch over to the faiths, we can see that Ursatru is over there. Ursatru is going to be switching over here, you can see that we're hashed out, and then also Benin is hashed out. And then in terms of culture... Norse. Entirely Norse. Um, it does look like Benin is going to need to do some Norsification, and then obviously we are as well. Um, but that is how things are in Africa right now. Am I still wanting to go to Egypt? So that is a good question. We do need to come up with a new goal. So with the format of this, we're basically going to be jumping around the world, very similar to March of the Vikings, which is actually a system I like doing in CK3 because it forces you to stay small ish. Um is what the next goal is going to be. And I do kind of like the idea of going for Egypt. Because I don't think there's very much of interest in North Africa at the moment. West Africa, I mean, I do kind of want to stay here for a while, at least. Because I want to keep the gold mines. I, I like the idea of having gold mines powering a lot of stuff. So we might kind of do it like Frisia, where we just play over there anyway, and we come up with a different interim goal. 
I, I really haven't decided yet. Um, but I, I like the idea of going to Egypt. I like the idea of going to Ethiopia. Um, maybe India? We shall see. Haven't decided. Because I don't want to completely retread what we did with March of the Vikings, which was basically um, Gotland to Friesland to um, Cordoba to West Africa to Mali to um, Ethiopia except we kind of spread all the way across to Egypt. No, we didn't go to Egypt. We went Ethiopia to Pagan. We jumped straight across. Ignoring India entirely. So maybe we will do India. I haven't decided. We shall see. Norse Crusade to Jerusalem. Uh, that is the other thing that we um, will be considering is we will at some point need to reform the faith. And that is going to be somewhat dependent on whether Denmark and Sweden are united under one banner again. Because for a while Denmark and Sweden were one kingdom. And they basically had one, two, two of the required holy sites to do the reformation. If Denmark gets Trondheim... In fact, sorry, no, Denmark didn't have Trondheim. They got it just after the two kingdoms split. So if Sweden and Denmark become united again, they will actually have three. And then the other one, which is down here in Paderborn, is also actually also true here. It's just owned by somebody else. The only one that's not is Zeeland. So uh, also true are doing quite well in terms of controlling their holy sites. So I would not be that surprised if we do see a, an AI reformation. Oh, I can invite champions. I think we should definitely invite champions. Spending all of my prestige right now, which doesn't feel good, but eh, needs must. Your glory is widely known. I am now a living legend. How old am I? 50. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is I do have too many provinces for my title. So I am going to need to give something away. I think it's probably going to be Mema. Because I'm keeping a hold of Zhen. So Kalima can be given away. I'll keep Messina just because it's rich. And then I also need to decide what I want my capital to be. Um, oh, that is the capital spot. Even though this one has five counties. Okay, well, we'll hold on to those anyway. So yeah, Kalima, I think we're going to give to somebody else. Oh, maybe to... One of the sons? Because Kalinicus is getting the lion's share, then Bazook is actually supposed to be getting Kalima as is. Part of this is going to depend on the elections. We can't really make any decisions until the election stuff comes through. So we're going to wait a month and then see what happens. Cool sign, Slinky. Thank you very much for the bits. If you ever get a message from me about canned meat, don't open up. It's spam. <laughs> Very good. All right, Kanya has come to join us. Welcome to the team. And now convert. Good boy. And I think my council. Oh no, we completely need to overhaul the council. Uh, new spy master. Wow, we have really bad spy masters. I guess United's not bad, although she is 70. Kalinicus is 10, but Kalinicus is already working as the steward. No, I think we'll go with our aunt, United. And then the Chancellor... Oh yeah, it can be Bazook. That would be a good choice, actually. Cool. I can ransom people. I can ransom people. I can ransom a lot of people. He knows who we just did. Mususapi, you are 16. You are not a good fighter. Sogolon. Go. 
Nafi. Just gonna drop all of the kids out. Fakuli is able to fight. He's actually very good at learning. I am tempted to recruit you. You're not a zealot, are you? No, you're actually diligent. I like you. You're cool. Let's recruit him. Sonny is just a kid. Um, whoever your liege is is not very wealthy, however. You're also a fighter. So I think what I might do is recruit you as well. Because I'm just trying to get champions into my court. And one of the easy ways of doing that is just recruiting decent prisoners. Okay. So that'll clear out the dungeons. Quite nicely. And there we go. Done. We could get an alliance with Kalinicus. Oh, hold on. Kalinicus. So Kalinicus already owns... Oh no, he's only of a county. What land do you own? You already own Aqua. That's Whitey. Right. Um, so do both of my sons have land? No, Bazook? Yes, yes he does. Bazook's already got Carter over there. So we probably want to give Mamer to somebody else. So is there anyone else in my court that I'd want to give this to? It would need to be somebody with decent learning. Like Fakuli. Learning and steward. Because I want them to convert this. You can have Mamer. Okay. So we are now at the appropriate number of territories. So, elections. How is the election of Gululand looking right now? So at the moment, Kalinicus is the top choice. And I'm trying desperately to remember who chat voted for last time, and I think it was Kalinicus, as he is the eldest. I'd like you to see. I'd like to see it go to the Horn of Africa, then up the Caucasus, through Eastern Europe to the Baltic, then Russia as far as you can, then down through Tibet, and Nepal. Uh, I mean, I never do big nations, so it wouldn't ever be taking all of that land, because big nations are freaking boring. Because you can just beat everyone. Why does YouTube hate long series in their algorithm? Because it takes attention away from the latest YouTube Google sponsored Zuma program. It's just how the alg algorithms behave at the moment, unfortunately. It's to do with just like 10 minute videos doing a lot better than multiple 30 minute videos. There's just a really, really big drop off in um, viewership and it just doesn't push them very much. Like my channel growth for the last two years has been uh, appalling. Like comparing Twitch growth to YouTube. It's just so different. Like, I would not be surprised, even though YouTube is the much, 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 much bigger platform in terms of total viewership. My Twitch channel is growing so much faster than YouTube one is. I'm not sure I got enough muches in there. It's all much of a muchness. Right, then the other thing I need to do is make sure that you guys are convertifying. So you are converting faith. You are... Actually, let's make that foreign affairs. You're promoting the culture. You should be increasing the control so that I can actually get all of the resources out of these territories. Because right now I'm getting naff all. And my prestige is actually growing, just naturally. Which is actually really good. Must mean that my armies have grown to their full size. They have. Good. I think I'm going to keep 500 prestige just in the bank right now. 
Ja, Jordi. Let's go to speed four. There's not a huge amount happening right now because we are just in territory consolidation phase. Having just taken a bunch of land and being a little bit concerned about what exactly Ghana is going to do about this. Because there are still a couple of nations around us that could definitely do some damage. Two people with useful county claims. I'm not particularly interested in that. just want to make sure that everyone stays as us are through. Which right now they are. So that's good. Dynast ah, our first legacy. Here we go. All right, so what should the Viking dynasty be all about? At least for this first unlock. I think every time we get a new unlock, I'll, I'll do the same thing and do a poll saying, okay, how has the family been doing in various areas? Before I do that, though, I have switched back to regular OBS, so my face is probably in completely the wrong place. Let me just open this. Let me open this. And if I remember, I think I was a little bit smaller. I think it was like right about there, if I remember correctly. And then when we actually get into a battle, we'll need to compare again to see what I'm covering up at the battle screen, which tends to be right here. Oh, right here. I was hovering on the OBS and you wouldn't actually have seen that. Okay, so legacies, 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 legacies. We have done a lot of warfare. We have conquered uh, Niger. We've moved up the Niger River and we are now into... What country are we even in now? Because we looked before, that was Benin and all that. Are we in Ghana? Let's take a look. Because I'm curious. Where's maps? Scroll out, scroll in. Oh no, we're just in Mali. <laughs> Oh, Ghana's all the way down there. Ghana's nowhere near. What I'm looking at right now is this map. So we started in Nigeria. This is the Niger here. So this is right where we started. And we've gone along the river, up here, around. Uh, I think we've... Oh no, the river goes up this way. Yeah, goes up there. So, yeah, we are. We're just Mali. Timbuktu is there in the north. I feel like we're, like, along here somewhere. Segu, Bamoko. Dia, Sum. Segu. It's right there. So yeah, we're, we're along this bit, Jen. That's another one. In fact, I think that's our capital. So that's where we are. So we are actually in Mali. Already. Awesome. So, Legacy. So we've done a lot of warfare, we've done a lot of conquest, we've done a lot of raiding. That would make sense. Law, we haven't done... Well, we did just change our election system, actually. Uh, having gone back to the ancient form of Scandinavian elective. We've done nothing with guile. We've done nothing really with careful breeding. Um, I mean, we, we do pick depending on ability, but not so much like congenital traits. Erudition. We've done a lot of converting. Where we can. I mean, we've done it slowly, but we have done some. Glory, we've done a lot of prestige stuff. Um, a lot of the raids were purely to get prestige. And kin, we've done nothing with kin, really. Although we did leave our uncle or something like that in charge of Benin and the Old Lands. So I would say it's probably Warfare, Law, Erudition, Glory. 
When picking legacy, see also what kind of bonuses they give so you'll have a better idea of which one suits your house best. It's not so much about suiting. That is kind of why I'm not showing you the bonuses. I want this to be done on what we've actually done. The only one that I'm a little unsure about is glory, because that's all about marriage acceptance. Which hasn't really done anything with us. But the rest of glory is about prestige. It's just that first tier. So, Warfare, Law, Erudition, Glory. I think those four are the ones that make the most sense. So, let's set up a poll. Which legacy? So, we've got Warfare, Law, Erudition, and then Glory. And we'll make this a two-minute vote. Because this is going to define quite a lot about what we're doing and how we're doing it. So, which of these do you think defines the Viking dynasty best right now? Can you see the traits and knights? Uh, we have a lot of knights, Mike. We can have up to 18. We've currently got 12. Because a large part of our army is about having knights and we have a high effectiveness because we are chivalric. And then our traits are brave, impatient, trusting. Adequate bargainer, disputed heritage, aspiring blade master, berserker, eager reveler. Still don't have viking. I'm not sure how you get viking in this. It, it seems to be really hit or miss. Because in CK2 it was basically if you raided enough territories you got viking. In this I've raided... So much stuff, and I still haven't got it. So I have no idea how you actually get the Viking trait in this. It's a little bit annoying. Why not Guile? I mean, you've had a few questionable lineages. That's not really Guile, though. Guile is like murders. <laughs> We've not really done any espionage type things at all. I mean, I don't tend to. That's just not my play style. <clears throat> don't know how Twitch works. My vote has a little circle next to it. Did it work? Did I vote? Don't know. Somebody will have to tell you. I haven't participated in many polls. I've just mostly done them. Scion Tabio wants me to drink some tea. All right, then. Oh, and Zero G Morals also wants me to drink some tea. That was a really interesting vote. Interesting, okay. So Glory and Law both came in last place, joint last, or joint third, depending on how you want to see it, with 2% of the vote each. Then there was a massive struggle for first place between Erudition and Warfare. With one of them getting 51% just nudging the majority, and then one of them getting 44%. So, Warfare missed out. We are actually Erudition. I am a little bit surprised by that. I thought that was going to be a Warfare easy. So, Erudition, here we go. Skilled guests, clerical approval, and capable advisors. Courtier and guest opinion plus 10 better guests will be attracted. Done. And that actually makes sense, because we have been bringing in a lot of um, champions, particularly. Um, and also, Volakir, thank you very much for the 8,000 channel point contribution there. Cool. Alright, onwards. What's my learning? Yeah, my learning's not great. No longer swaying Herder. Do I have anyone on my council that I need to sway? Not really. Uh, one of the sons, though, I do. No, I don't. They're all actually really happy with me. What about the wife? The wife's fine. Sister's fine. I mean, the only one I could potentially do with a bit more would be Malmfred. 
I guess we'll spend some time swaying you. Nothing better to do. Doesn't really matter, we have no temple holdings. Uh, Gossius has had a daughter. This is going to be Tanhouse. May you grow to be strong and wise. Right, the other thing I need to do is keep tabs on people like you. Tinkbell's already there. In fact, Tinkbell is seven and needs a guardian. You've already got a guardian. Okay, you're learning stewarding. That is actually brilliant. So, Frostgamma, Lolly is going to need an educator in two years, and then Tannhaus in six. Unfortunately, we've got to keep tabs of kids this way, because there's no freaking pop-up if they're not being educated. It's so infuriating! Uh, Dan's another champion. Dan's the man. Crew to the court, you're already also true. You're going to be good. Skilled tactician, athletic. 39 years old. Okay, cool. So, Sweden, Denmark, come on, unify! Let us reform this religion. And we do need to nominate a successor. So, situation is slightly different. I wonder if Whitey was the guy that we were voting for before. I honestly can't remember who chat voted for as the heir. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Mostly thinking of the whole conversion of religion and culture, hence the 8,000 points. Yeah, follow here. I, I think that makes sense. Uh, that's why our edition was on, on the list. <laughs> because we have done a whole lot of that. And in fact, conversion in... Oh, sorry, con culture in particular. We, we have completely Norsified this region. We're going to need to work on doing that over here as well. But our intention is to Norsify everything. And also to convert it. We've, done, we've had a little bit of success with Orsatru over in the old country. But we need to do that over here, too, for sure. What was I talking about? Um, elections. Right. So, at the moment, Kalinicus is first, and I think... Yeah, I'm the only one, for some reason, that actually has a vote in this. Why am I the only one that has a vote in this? Electors, ruler and vassals. Candidates, extended family and claimants. These two are both vassals. We have three vassals, so why are they not getting a vote? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, because they're counts, not dukes. I didn't think that mattered. But yeah. Well, no, because they're still direct vassals of mine. Although that does raise a good point. We do need to create some duchies. We can definitely get Zhen, which would give me a boost to um, prestige too. Can't use up that one. Can't use up any of those, but we can get myself Zhen. So what if I do this? Keeping the duchy to myself. Wait until the end of the month. Oh, conversion fervor. Levy size. I'm still the only elector. Because they're not my counts. They'd technically be the count of Mema and the counts of Kanyaga and Wagudu. Uh, 